Hello, Ducks fans, hockey fans in Orange County, California, United States, Finland, and all over the world. Happy Friday, everybody. So, what to do with our Anaheim Ducks unrestricted free agents? You know, I'm not talking about Ryan Getzloff. He has earned that right to decide his future. Or Nick DeLaurier. Or a few others. What I'm talking about is the three unrestricted free agents that have been contributors to our Ducks over the past few years. Josh Manson, Hampus Lindholm, Ricard Raquel. There's only two options going forward. You either trade them for some draft picks or some legitimate, talented young players who are earning their mark in the NHL or a contract extension. Let me just say this later. Okay, not in regards to the contract extension. Our Anaheim Ducks have always had a history of extending or re-signing players they have drafted. Ryan Getzloff, Corey Perry are, is one example. Mighty Ducks great Ducks legend Paul Korea, Bobby Ryan, Geoffrey Lupo, the late Ruslan Soleil, Vitaly Vizhetsky, Elia Brzgolov. I could go on and on. We should not be surprised, I should not be surprised personally, if the Ducks decide to extend the contracts and have all three of them stay. I mean, it would not hurt, but then again, I always have a feeling our team is a long overdue to have this roster shakeup that could enhance the development of the new generation of Ducks that have taken our team by storm and contributing to the resurgence of this team who is fighting for a Stanley Cup playoff spot in a rebuilding year where they are being rejuvenated, reinvigorated by the youthfulness, the new energy from the guys like the Z-Man, Trevor Zigaris, and Troy Terry, and Jamie Drysdale, and several others. It would not be a surprise to me. But if our Ducks decide to, do, to uh, go to the trade path, the trade route, Let's be very clear on that. The Ducks trading Manson, Lindholm, and Raquel have its pros and cons. Uh, the pro, let me talk about the pro. Trading those three in a what-if scenario. It's like, what if the Ducks do trade all three of them? Uh, it would disrupt the team chemistry that's been building and emerging in the locker room i.e., for example, uh, Ricard Raquel. He's doing very, very well with the Z-Man, Trevor Zigaris, and Sonny Milano. Or Josh Manson and Hampus Lino. Training those two is... It would, like, weaken the blue line of our defensive core. It would. Because you have the experience that needs to... Uh, mesh well with the youthful vibe that's been coming from guys like Drysdale and, and Mahara and and others. And it all comes down to what our interim Ducks general manager, Jeff Solomon, wants to do. That's the um, thing about the pros and cons. So Now, speaking of the contract extension, okay... The one con that I can think of is, say if all three of them decide they want to sign elsewhere, then our Ducks are going to lose any value of getting something in return, which leads to a trade option. But we won't know that for sure. All three of them are on an expiring contract, and let's be very honest. 
it would be more better if the Ducks pull a trade. But I'm certain and I'm positive that if the Ducks do a trade, it needs to have to bring in not another player with an expiring contract, but a player that's on a contract. I mean, that could be a strategy Solomon needs to do. Because there's no way that, say, for example, the Ducks get Patrick Liney. Patrick Liney is on an on a expiring contract. I don't think he... I don't think the Ducks are going to go through a, let's say, headache in getting him signed. Let's say if he wants to sign elsewhere, then that's an issue right there. I think that over the coming years, no, not the coming years, but the coming uh, weeks, we may see this team looking at how to tinker and tweak this team, not by disrupting the uh, the chemistry and the nucleus of the core group that's been emerging. If our Ducks can do that, if interim GM Jeff Solomon can do that, maybe this team is not only fun to watch, but also fun to see then once again dominate and challenge the top NHL teams in the NHL from Pittsburgh to Washington to you name it. It all comes down to how the Ducks are going to strategize forward in regards to the unrestricted free agents. I know there's two paths. I know many of us on the Ducks message board on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, have been debating, have been, I wouldn't say arguing, but discussing what to do with those three. We could debate until the end of the season, but what it all comes down to is whether or not Ducks do something I know that the need to trade or the need to sign a contract extension weighs heavily on us all. It probably weighs heavily on the Ducks uh, interim GM, Jeff Solomon. He's probably wondering what to do and ensuring that the chemistry is not being disrupted and thinking what if that all three decide they would like to, to test out the free agent market because that's a possibility. But of course, we can't rule out our team signing all three of them to our contract extension because the Ducks have a history in their MO of re-signing top prospects or I won't say top prospects, well, then prospects that they drafted in the first round and in the later rounds to contract ex extensions from Mighty Ducks, great and Ducks legend Paul Korea, uh, Bobby Ryan, Trophy Lupo, Ilya Brzezgalov, Leif Ruslan Zalei, Vitaly Bezhetsky. I could go on and on and make a list, but I'm not gonna gonna tire you guys out. You all know who I'm talking about in the list of Ducks players that are drafted and that signed contract extensions. It all comes down to what Jeff Solomon wants to do or trying to do in the next weeks and months as we count down to the NHL trade deadline. If our Ducks could make a trade, it needs to come down to getting a player that's under contract, not under an expiring contract. We've seen that with previous Ducks GM, Bob Murray. And look how that turned out at the trade deadline. line. We didn't got nothing. So, who knows? One thing is clear. Dealing with the Ducks' unrestricted free agents comes down to two choices. 
trades, or contract extension. As for Ducks captain Ryan Getzloff and enforcer Nick Delore, I believe both of them earned their right to decide their future. I'm not going to get into what they want to do, but it is it is what it is. So, till then, to all of you, I'll see you around. Go Ducks.